Hello, future scientists. Today we will continue our lesson in Unit Four, Material Properties. We will discuss about the properties of plastic and identify different materials made from plastic. It is an important concept uh, to understand that one material can be used to make more than one thing. Now you can see different objects having different materials. Can you find all objects that are made from plastic? Do you think this is made from plastic, this beach ball? What about this uh, teddy bear? Is it made from a plastic material? No, it is not because it is made from fabric. How about these dinosaurs? Or how about these balls and another dinosaur and this car on the table? Okay, what about these toys? Yeah, they are made from a plastic material. Okay, so you can see here different objects having different materials. Now, let's talk about plastic. What is plastic? It is a material and plastic can be rough or smooth and it can be bendy or rigid just like the straws. And plastic also can be see-through. When we say see-through, it is transparent or not see-through. Okay, so there are two things that you can describe also the plastic. It can be see-through or transparent or not see-through, just like this uh, plastic cup. And plastic can be soft and waterproof, just like this raincoat. Plastic has properties that make it suitable for making different objects. Plastic, it can be strong, shiny or dull, bendy, when you say bendy, it's flexible or rigid, hard, and does not feel cold to touch. Unlike the metal, metal when you touch it, it is cold to touch. For plastic, it does not feel cold to touch. Now, let's try to see the differences and similarities of plastic and metal materials. For plastic, the properties are it has a light weight. Okay, it has a longer life and it is less intrusive. It is easier to cut and hot to touch. For metal, which we studied last week, it has a heavy weight and it is used for extreme conditions. It also has a ringing sound when you hit it. And when you touch it, it has a cold touch. And it is more difficult to cut for the machine. But what are their similarities? Their similarities are both plastic and metal are bendy. And both are used for engineering materials and also shiny. Now let's complete our workbook, page 50, plastic, okay, that we can uh, find in our uh, classroom. Or now you are at home, okay, try to find objects that are made from plastic. Then draw in the first box all the objects that are made from plastic. And in number two, what objects do you have in your home that are made from plastic? Please write down the names below. Plastic is everywhere. So you can find a lot of plastic materials, not just in your home, not just in your classroom, like everywhere. Just think about the different rooms in your house so when you think of plastic materials. Now challenge yourself. I know that these things are made from plastic because... Thank you for listening. Till next time.